You weren't watching for a few weeks and I'm at a hundred viewers now. Yeah. I mean, I, what I happens is I go on TikTok and I like do these dances and they're the programming dances. And then everybody wants to come and see programming. It's like, it's how you build your brand as an influencer. All right. You've got to build your brand as an influencer. If you learn anything in 2020, it's that, okay? Okay? <laughs> Did I have a good nap? Um, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I was asleep for it, so I don't know how it went. Any thoughts on cyberpunk? My thought is I wish people would stop asking me that, but it will happen a hundred more times on this stream unless I press the stop button right now. This is already time number four, at least. Not even counting the times people said, what do you think about cyberpunk? But it scrolled by and I didn't see it because I was over getting books or whatever. Maybe right on my forehead. Yeah. You know in Among Us how there's the post-it note that says dumb? Mine will say in small print, please don't ask me about cyberpunk because I think that is dumb. How do we make, I'm sure in OBS I could make a little text thing, right? Is there a new, uh, new text? Yeah. Create new. Oh yeah. Ariel. Uh, wait, comic sans, comic sans. All right. Text do not ask me about cyberpunk 2077 color let's get a really good color okay this is going to be really good all right all right so let's do some programming <laughs> That was more fun than playing most video games right there, making that text. All right, everybody. Um, here we go. We are turning off this. We are turning on this very important text, um, which will be on the screen for the entire session. Damn it. How many people today are going to ask me about this game? Stop it, people. I don't care. You can care infinity amount about The Last of Us 2 and then see where you end up in life. You know what I think? I think gamers are kind of babies. That's what I think. You know what I want? I want a nice girlfriend where when I can come home from work, I can tell her all my troubles about how I was going to get tons of stuff done, but LVM didn't cooperate and she'll sympathize and bring me a nice cup of hot cocoa and then know miraculously what to go type to fix it and then it's suddenly fixed and everybody's happy you know what i mean that would be great don't have that though in fact she would just rewrite llvm that night to be 20 times as fast and one percent code size and then I would marry her instantly. <laughs> so, uh, but that's not reality. That is not where I live. I think that if we make a go-to statement, we should say where it should go to. Otherwise, it's like living with your, your girlfriend who's getting really annoyed at you and being like, you're supposed to know where I want you to go to. And you're like, no, I can't read your mind. And she's like, but, you know, if you really cared about me, you could read my mind. It's like that. But, um, but in computer form, in computer bytecode statement form. What is my favorite romance anime? A strange game. The only way to win is not to play. Dude, like, 
Like Japanese anime nerds who grow up to be anime illustrators and writers have the right things to teach you about romance? Are you kidding me? If you want to learn about romance, go go somewhere else. <laughs> like... Although, before I knew better, I did watch a lot of Kimagure Orange Road. Same could be said for Hollywood scriptwriters. Yes. Oh, definitely. Very definitely. Yeah, my idea for this game is that Slipways isn't a very marketable name, so it should be called Juicy Asteroids, because that's one of the keys to success, is finding the juicy asteroids, right? But then... Twitch chat made it weird the way that they do, you know? They like made it into something that it wasn't supposed to be. It wasn't my fault. They did it. To keep the line going so that we get all the way to here. I didn't, I thought it was gonna, whoa! The best game of all time. For me to poop on. We need to bring back Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. We need, that's who we need during this pandemic, is we need Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. Can I talk a little about my experience using the Aeron Embody? Yes, I sit in the chair. And the chair supports me. I feel supported emotionally and physically by the chair. That's a little bit of a weird flag name at this point because that is certainly not due to the Lexer. Very loud car going by that is slower than my car. Okay. Do I get nostalgic when I hear people talking about Braid or am I just fed up with it at this point? Dude, I don't want to hear anybody talking about my any game that I ever make ever because I hate I hate that shit. I don't I don't want to know what anybody thinks about anything that I work on. Ever. Sugar is unhealthy and makes me a bad programmer. All right, I will sit here and eat my fruit and you can sit there and eat your asparagus and we'll see who makes the better program uh, 20 years from now, all right? We'll see where we end up. I'm all in favor of a competition like that. I like competitions. Can't you create a DLL that wraps the lib? I don't know, maybe. I mean, it's like a hundred libs. It's not like the lib, so you'd have to really own the libs to do that, I think is what we're saying. I really need to narrow this down. My nips. What about my nips? This is so hard to think about, guys. I tell you. It is a drag and ball Z. Oh, wait a minute, guys. Guys. I am stupid. Can I just get that out there? This is not even right either. Oh my God. Guys, I've been doing everything wrong for at least two hours and possibly my entire life. Possibly my entire life. You either get type safety or convenience when it comes to that kind of thing in C++. That is why C++ is bad. That's one of the many reasons why it's bad. Why don't, why isn't it just the right thing? Instead of 
making you jump up and down on a pogo stick on a beach ball on a on a like high wire between the twin towers in New York while they're being attacked by Al Qaeda. Like, why do you have to do that in order to use enums in C++? Some are designed to model card it. What? Just, oh God. It, it, don't, please don't make excuses for C++ in here. <laughs> it's just bad. It's just bad. But then some people come along and say, well, it's cool if you wear like a hat with a spring with the hammer attached to it, because then you can get your eyes really up close to the thing you're nailing and you can go like this and nod your head and the, the hammer will hit the nail a lot of the time. But it also bounces around sometimes. And then someone comes along and says, um, you know, we have this thing called uh, TDD, right, which stands uh, for uh, textile diffusion um, the, the disruptor something, right? And it's like this big padding that you put on your head, right? So that when you nod and the hammer like comes down in a weird direction that you didn't expect, it doesn't hit you in the head as hard. And they say, this is great. Now you can program without being hit in the head by a hammer quite as much as you used to before. And I'm like, but I didn't get hit in the head by a hammer before, right? It's, it's like if you were dating someone and they used to be hot, but now they walk in public with poop smeared all over their face and like they reach into their little handbag to get more poop every five minutes and go like this and goes like, ah, and you're supposed to like say how great the poop is, but I don't want to do that. Eventually you break up with that person, right? Am I wrong about that? What engine do you use? Uh, this is uh, Game Rust Interpreter Pro running inside Godot Engine, inside the Godot Unity Asset Store Godot Engine plugin, um, compiled to a DLL, hot loaded into Unreal's DLL hot load system. Because when you use, when you use several engines, you obviously get a lot more work done than if you use only one engine. Like if one engine is better than no engines, then like four is way better than one. I mean, just think of all the micro polygons we're gonna be able to render with four engines, all right? It's gonna be great. What's the reason for building a custom game engine plus language? Because if nobody does that, then civilization will die. That's why. Amen and a women. Okay, so. Ah, just like that guy falling in the water. That's what happens to civilization. Ah! Do I think stuff like Doxygen is useful? Yes, it is useful for destroying civilization and making programmers miserable and turning software into garbage. That's what it's useful for. What the hell? Okay, we're going to have to talk to people about this. So, like, bytecode instructions that are essentially no ops are now... Be this is what happens when people besides me work on things. Might be better to hire the designer or the witness. Yeah, that guy has more experience than the braid guy. He's probably better. So if we have something in, I just hit enter on Windows. Okay. Now see, the reason I was able to solve that puzzle was because I looked at the layout of the level and I said, what I really need to solve this level is memory safety. Memory safety is the key to the level. And when you understand and remember the theme of the level like that, you can like solve it. Also, the reason this music sounds so good, memory safety, all right? If the memory wasn't safe, 
the bits would be like being bombarded by cosmic rays from the sun and you'd hear like noise like little little statics right because you know there's no such thing as a perfect computerized reproduction of music there's little differences in the music and if you watch it with your ears you can tell also use monster cables what is UB? It is, um, UB is when people who were not loved enough as children grow up and build compilers and insist on changing the way everyone in the world programs to suit what they want because they make the compilers and nobody else can say anything about it. That's what UB is. Is it okay to program JavaScript while junk, drunk? You basically are drunk if you're programming JavaScript. Your mental capacity is probably reduced to beyond, beyond drunkenness. JavaScript pays your bills for now. Yes, but it doesn't pay for the sadness you'll feel in 20 years when you look back and say, I could have been a contender. Is it hard to make games for Linux when you make a game for Windows? Yes, it's very hard because you spend years making the game and then nobody pays you any money for all the work and then you go starve and you get a job at Applebee's. That is what happens when you make games for Linux. It's very hard. That can be done quite fast. I'm just not going to say anything. I'm not going to baby rage. If it can be done quite fast, why are all the languages that use these things dog shit slow? Guys, communism is really great. It produces the best economies. You rely heavily on typing my variable dot. Why do you... Why does everybody think that the IDE's ability to look up a thing depends on typing a dot? Like, what is wrong with people? Like, that's literally the number one objection that I get. You can't imagine how you would do that if you typed a function name or if you typed an object and then wanted to look up the function without a dot. Like, <laughs> like what? Have some imagination. It could be something besides a dot that you type. <laughs> oh my God. It's just, that is, it's just frustrating because that's literally the number one objection that I get. And I'm so... I'm tired of people who object to things without thinking about them at all. Like, do your job, think about what you would do and how you would solve the problem before bothering me about the fact that you haven't done that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, 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 yes. That is what I think about when people say they need dot for autocomplete. I say, wow, 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 wow. Also, I can go off on my rant about how autocomplete makes you bad at programming anyway, but we're not going to do that one. That was the debug compiler, guys. Debug compilers, debug executables generally in all of computers run slower than release executables. If you look on the screen, and it says debug slash whatever dot exe. Do not complain about speed because it's debug. Look, you can't have the bug snacks and maximum speed at the same time. That's not how it works. Crash. Oh, we crashed, guys. We crashed. It's so terrible. Let's see what happens. happening address is uninitialized we have probably a stack allocation oh and then we spill tea everywhere let's make sure we do that 
Why have bug snacks only when you can have bug snacks and tea on the floor snacks? It's just so much better. People just like overthink these things. It doesn't matter. Oh no. My tea strainer got in the honey mustard. That matters. Did I talk about C++ 20? Here is what I have to say about C++ 20.